Hi everyone. Welcome to today's lesson five. Listen and talk one and two. Explore your feelings. Okay, let's take a look at the content for today's class. Here are the key expressions that we will learn about today. First, what's the matter? And I think you should. You can find these in your textbook. Okay, let's begin with what's the matter. You can ask someone this question when you think something is wrong, or if your friend looks stressed. Take a look at this example. You look sad. What's the matter? Repeat after me. You look sad. What's the matter? I dropped my ice cream. Okay. Let's take a look at some more examples. Please repeat after me. You look upset. What's the matter? You look upset. What's the matter? I lost the game. You look nervous. What's the matter? You look nervous. What's the matter? I have a test tomorrow. Okay. Now let's take a look at the second key expression. I think you should. Please repeat after me. I dropped my ice cream. What should I do? I think you should buy a new one. I think you should buy a new one. I lost the game. What should I do? Okay, repeat after me. I think you should play again. I think you should play again. I have a test tomorrow. What should I do? Okay, I think you should study. I think you should study. Okay, for today's activities, let's talk about school life. We will do two activities today. First, I want you to brainstorm some ideas and then you will write a dialogue. Okay, let's move on. What's the matter? 
What are problems that people have in middle school? What problems do teachers have? What problems do students have? Okay, let's brainstorm some ideas. Please get your notebook ready or some paper. Think of things that are problems for teachers and students in middle school. Use your imagination. Example. This is a teacher. A teacher's problem is students are too loud. Or the students think my class is boring. Here is a student. Let's take a look at some of her problems. For example, I forgot to do my homework. Or I like a boy, but he doesn't like me. He likes my best friend. Try to think of your own examples. In your in your notebook, please write three student problems and three teacher problems. I will give you three minutes to do this activity. Okay, let's begin.
Excellent work. What problems did you come up with? Next, we can use these ideas we made for the activity. The second activity is writing a dialogue. A dialogue is a conversation between two people. Here's an example. A. What's the matter? B. I feel stressed. I have a crush on Julia, but I don't know if she likes me. But Julia is Jin's girlfriend, and Jin is your best friend. I know. What should I do? I think you should find a different girl. No. I will make them break up. Uh... Example two. Hi, Julia. You look stressed. What's the matter? I'm nervous because I have a math test tomorrow. Did you study? Yes. I studied a lot, but I'm still nervous. I think you should sleep early tonight. Really? Why? If you rest, then you will do well on your test. That's a good idea. Thanks. Okay, those were two examples of a dialogue. Now I want you to write your own dialogue. Think. Who will be talking? Two students, a student and a teacher. Two teachers. You can choose the two speakers. Use both key phrases. What's the matter? And. I think you should. I will give you three minutes to complete this activity. Okay, let's begin.
Okay, well done. What did you talk about? That's all for today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you learned how to use today's key phrases. Until next time, bye bye.